you know, we have to no longer just think of putting an office building up in the middle of a city and build it and they will come. Because I'm not sure that's going to happen in the future. I think you have to accommodate housing, um, living, cost of living, as well as workplace and, and offer much more flexibility. I think that's really the exciting part going forward. You know, a developer, that's their role, is to create better places for people to live and people to work. And you have the opportunity to really affect change. And there's a responsibility that goes along with that, uh, which is why I think ULI is in the forefront of this. We have to think of things like infrastructure and environmental sustainability, um, something that my family has felt very strongly about. Well, actually, you know, it's fun. My grandfather was one of the, I think, very early members of ULI. And so it's so exciting for the Galbraith family, three generations later, to be able to continue to support ULI and this blueprint for change and looking where cities are going and how they have to go to create better places and more responsible places for people to live and work. I'm very excited about this effort. To me, it's kind of the pinnacle of the work that we've been doing at ULI for years and years. It brings so much of the, the different efforts we've had together, of the energy crisis, climate change, the whole issue of the infrastructure. These are our big issues that have kind of come together and need some real solutions. We think it is critically important that we look forward. And this exhibit and the book that's with it and the program that will be ongoing is really to take a longer look at the huge issues that are facing not only the U.S. but the whole world. 2050 is not that far off and I think it's so exciting to be able to sit down with the best and the brightest and to come up with what's going to make sense going forward. And not just in the United States but globally what's going to be the best in the future. We are very excited and very thankful to, uh, to the Galbraith Family Foundation to support this effort. Now this exhibit is kind of the first step in a, a longer program that could go on for several years. The accomplishments we can achieve with this City of 2050 is to be an advocate for thinking about the uh, alternatives to the future. It is critically important that we look forward. And we've got to think about what are the best ways for human beings to live in these areas.